What's going on YouTube? Geosnoid here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on 14.7 and lower, especially on the A12 and newer devices. A brand new kernel exploit has been released. So the jailbreak may not be as far as it was expected initially. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device. You can back up your photos, music, videos and apps and of course you can do iCloud management and so on directly from your computer. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably remember, back on October 16th, Justin Shearman posted this, quote, This semester I decided to do an independent study, which is a semester-long project that counts for credits like a class would. My project is a kernel exploit for CVE 2021-30807 plus a write-up. I just finished the exploit and popped 14.6 and 14.7 on my phones. Write up ATA soon. Now at that point they posted this, of course, the information about the kernel exploit, and of course it's completely okay, the kernel exploit works and it shows the kernel slide and many other things in here, including getting root, UID0 and GID0 there. But that was it at that point. However, just yesterday, Justin Sherman posted this, quote, right up finished. Thank you to everyone that gave me feedback. And they posted it in here, which is basically this huge write up posted on November 28th. So it says in here that popping iOS 14.7 and lower with IO MFP or IO mobile frame buffer, which has been the target of many, many exploits in the past, many of which have been used for jailbreak purposes. Now of course the write-up itself is huge, it's massive, you would have to actually take time to read it and so on if you're interested in it, but you probably are not because you're probably not a jailbreak developer. So I'm going to talk about it and how it would affect you as a jailbreak user. Well it is indeed a kernel exploit and it's the kernel exploit that has been demonstrated in here back in October. So we know that this kernel exploit has been used before in order to get the kernel slide, so bypassing the KSLR which is a security feature, and then getting root. And probably even bypassing the sandbox or escaping the sandbox. So we know that this can be used for Uncover and Taurine with one exception. This one would require, from what I can see, a Safari exploit to chain it with. Because you need some entitlement in order to be able to exploit the component that is vulnerable here. And unfortunately, only Safari has that. In fact, web content has that. So you would need to first gain access over Safari. So basically pawn Safari first. And then, of course, spawn this exploit here and take over the kernel. So it's just a minor hurdle. iOS WebKit vulnerabilities and, you know, web content vulnerabilities are actually quite often published and therefore it's not something that is very rare and we will never be able to find it. So in terms of that, it's not actually very bad. However, it would mean that Uncover and Torin would have to basically find out a way to distribute this in a different way. The standard IPA file would probably not work at that point because you would first need to be able to run from Safari and then, of course, run the kernel exploit. So it would need a little bit of a modification in terms of the way you install the jailbreak itself. However, the kernel exploit is indeed very important and it's actually a great step towards a 14.7 and 14.6 jailbreak. Right now, Uncover only supports 14.5.1 and lower, but with this in here, and if used properly, it will of course mean 14.6 and 14.7 could get this as well. So for those of you who are running iOS 14.7, 14.6, 14.5.1 and so on, this would very well work. Now there were a couple of questions about whether this would work on A12, A13, A14 and so on. And the answer is yes, according to Justin Sherman. Matt asked him in here about the A14 plus devices and Justin Sherman posted this, it should work on all chips, I just opened a random iPhone 13 kernel and the code is there. The code was not part of the code that was moved to DCP. So it would work on all devices, which is actually quite great because this means that this is a huge step forward towards a jailbreak. And it also means that we're closer than ever to set jailbreak for 14.7 and 14.6. Because remember, this is a kernel exploit is exactly what we need. We need a Safari exploit in order to run this exploit here. But that's not exactly hard to find. And those have been patched left, right and center in iOS. I'm pretty sure there are a couple of them waiting to be released in iOS 14.7, 14.6 and so on. So yes, this is laying the base for the 14.7 and 14.6 jailbreak. What's next? We need to wait for a Safari exploit to pop out, like this one in here has, but after that we're pretty much good to go. We just need to wait for people to update their jailbreaks and that's it. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Pretty great news. I wasn't expecting it, but yeah, pretty great news. Thanks to Justin Sherman for releasing the exploit and not keeping it private. And of course, thank you for watching this video. Till next time, I'm Gio Snow, peace out.